The majority of you are trying to get something. You say that you have an X, Y, or Z desire, and you want to know the process to get that desire. This is why you are here. This is why this video came on your phone screen. If you watched my videos in the past, then you know a lot about manifestation as compared to others. But, since you know a lot about it, you are also doing everything right. But you are unable to achieve the outcome you want. If this is your story, then stick with me till the end, as you are missing a point that makes the majority of the difference when it comes to manifesting a desire. When I was new to the law, I too missed this point when manifesting my desire. In my mind, I was convinced that I was doing everything right, but my reality was not shifting. I had previous successes with the law, and I knew it worked. But, then, with some of my desires, things were not shifting, and it demotivated me. So, I thought to reread some of Neville's lectures, and suddenly it clicked for me again. I realized that it is a process of being. Yes, we have to be in a certain state in order to get that thing. This is what the majority of people fail to realize. This is what you miss often. People think I will do something, then I will have something, and then I will become something. But, in reality, it is about being something, and then you do something, and then you have that thing. So, the process is not to get something but to be something. Now, what does being something mean? Being something simply means changing your state of being to the state where you already have what you want. Neville Goddard described it by using the terms living from the end or thinking from the end. It is about embodying a particular state of being in order to get what you desire. For example, if you want to have a certain amount of money, then you have to do this one little thing. You have to change your state of being. You have to embody a state where you are wealthy. You have to evoke the feeling of being wealthy within you. You might be wondering how to evoke the feeling of being wealthy. Well, it is simple. You have to feel as if you are already wealthy. Now, you would tell me, how would I feel as a wealthy person when I don't have the wealth? You would say I was not born into a rich family, nor did I earn a substantial amount of money before. I am living from paycheck to paycheck. Then, how can I feel as if I am already a wealthy person? I don't know the feeling of being wealthy. This seems to be a genuine question as the majority of you are in situations that are opposite to what you desire. Some people are out of budget and cannot afford a pair of new shoes. Then there are some who want to manifest a specific person, and that person has blocked them. Also, there are people who have a crush on someone they met at a party. Now, they want to be in a relationship with them. They have never been in a relationship with them before, and they don't know what the feeling of being in the relationship would be like. Well, don't worry. I understand you totally. I understand what you are going through. I know this seems to be a genuine concern for almost everyone who comes across manifestation. But don't worry, as I will teach you how to change this feeling. It does not matter if you want to have a specific person, wealth, a luxurious house, vacation, cars, or any other materialistic thing. You can have it all, and you can get it within a few days. So, become attentive, as you will be learning something that will change your life tremendously. Let me tell you that the world is a manifestation of consciousness. This means that the circumstances of your life are there in your life because of a state of consciousness that you embody. You only see what you know. You only see what you believe. That is why it is highly important to change your state of consciousness before changing external circumstances. You might have witnessed people taking lots of actions in their external reality and still not getting the desired outcomes. On the other hand, there are people who take fewer actions than others and still manage to get the desired results. This happens because they change their state of consciousness. They change their feelings. Now, how do I change it? Well, in order to change it, you have to understand this one simple truth. The truth is, you are neither this body nor your mind. You are not even your name. The name you are called by is your identity. Your parents named you. Your body is a composition of the five elements, and you took it from the earth. Your mind is a part of your body. In short, they are the tools that you use to survive and prosper in this materialistic world. You are beyond this physical body. The body changes over time, and you change your qualities as well. Yet, you remain constant. You are an observer who is witnessing this creation. In fact, you are consciousness that is experiencing this materialistic world. When you accept this, you can then start to change. Now that you are constant and everything changes, your feelings can also be changed. It does not matter if you have felt something before or not. You can generate that feeling within you irrespective of your past. I read somewhere. To feel something is to experience it. To experience something is to feel it. After reading this, you surely will ask me, how will I experience it when it is not present in my reality? Well, there are two ways to experience something. One is externally through your five senses, a sense of touch, sight, taste, sound, and smell. You experience something physical in your external reality by using your five senses. This is the most common experience that everyone has. On the other hand, you experience something internally by using your imagination. Your feelings change when you start imagining something, and I can prove it to you. 
You can make yourself feel comfortable by just imagining a scenario. Also, you can feel discomfort by imagining something terrifying. Close your eyes and imagine sleeping in a tent on a mountain where there is pitch black darkness. You are alone and you had to pee. So, you went out of your tent and you were peeing. You heard some noise, it was from moving leaves. So, with a torch in your hand, you turned and you saw a tiger hiding behind bushes. The eyes of the tiger are glowing. Just imagine this scenario and your heartbeat will change. You will start feeling differently and your body will chemically change. The feeling you have changes. Even though you are sitting in your room, which is surrounded by four walls in the middle of a city, you still feel something different. Congratulations. You embodied a different feeling. You changed your state of being. Well, it is that simple. Every one of us changes our feelings by imagining something. Do you remember the days when you were just a teenager and you had your first crush? Your first crush, whom you called the love of your life. Yes, that one. During that time, you were listening to romantic songs when you were in bed. You were listening to love songs. While you were doing this, you started feeling differently. You started evoking these romantic feelings within you. You started imagining certain scenarios, like when it was raining and you two were sitting and hugging each other, feeling the warmth. You imagine scenarios where you were walking with your crush to your home. You imagine kissing them on the forehead. Like this, you imagined many things, and it changed your feeling state. So, it is that simple to change the feeling of the wish fulfilled within you. You can imagine anything. You can imagine kissing a celebrity. You can imagine sharing a bed with a very attractive person. You can do all of this in your imagination. Also, you can imagine living in a mansion. You can imagine driving the most luxurious car. You can imagine wearing expensive jewelry. You can imagine anything that you want, and by imagining, you can change that feeling within you. This change in feeling results in a change of circumstances, and that is how you get what you desire. Now, you might think, how many times do I have to imagine? Well, you can ask this question to anyone who has consciously manifested anything, and they will not tell you any particular number. It is not about imagining it once, twice, or even ten times. There is no set number. You have to imagine it to the point that this feeling becomes dominant within you. For example, if you are manifesting a person, then how would you feel once you had that person in your life? You have to imagine a point where you are already in a relationship with them. Imagine a scenario where you are celebrating your first anniversary. Imagine a scenario where you are on vacation with them. Imagine a scenario where you are sharing a bed with them. Imagine a scenario where people are addressing you and that person is a lovely couple. Every time you imagine such scenarios, you are entering a state of consciousness. You are stepping into the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Every time you make this tiny little movement, do it multiple times, and you will successfully change that feeling. You will know within yourself that you have changed the feeling. The person won't matter to you anymore as you have changed your state of consciousness, and you have achieved what you wanted. Now, you are not in need of that person. Instead, you know that you are with that person, and you no longer want to get them because you already have them. Imagine it as many times as you like. Once it becomes a regular feeling within you, you will automatically stop doing it. Also, changing your self-concept is crucial when manifesting anything. That is why I have designed an affirmation tape that will change the concepts you hold about yourself. You can find it by clicking on the first video that appears at the end of the screen.